Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikatayo. I bring you greetings and I welcome you for this daily meditation. We have been meditating about the fruit of the Spirit. According to Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. The fruit of the Spirit is love. And then Apostle goes on to describe eight qualities of love. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. That's where we are. We meditated about joy, peace, kindness, and now on the fourth quality, that is kindness. We are reflecting, meditating on kindness. Today, I want to invite you to meditate on Isaiah chapter 54, verse 8. The scripture says, In a surge of anger, I hid my face from you for a moment. But with everlasting kindness, I will have compassion on you, says the Lord God, your Redeemer. The Lord God has compassion over us because of his kindness. Kindness is wanting to do good in spite of the the, uh, the recipient, his or her unfaithfulness. In spite of the fact that we, children of God, have gone away from God and acted against God's will, God is saying, I will have compassion on you out of my kindness. <clears throat> I want to do good for you. <clears throat> Though in a surge of anger, I turned I hid my face from you for a moment. God is explaining that some of the difficulties Israelites went through or some of the difficulties we go through, but we can count on the kindness of God. Kindness of God is God wanting to do good things for us. Sisters and brothers, God already did the most amazing thing for us sinners. That is, he allowed his one and only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for us. When we least deserved forgiveness, he gave us forgiveness out of his kindness. Sisters and brothers, throughout this day, enable, bless, uh, pray, that we may receive the kindness of God more and more, the kindness of Jesus more and more. The very fact that we are alive is an expression of God's kindness. We don't deserve to be alive. We don't deserve any good things because we have messed up God's plan for us. We have gone away from God. We have acted against God. We thought a lot of things against God, sinful thoughts, and therefore we don't deserve. But God is saying, because of my kindness, I will have compassion on you. We can count on his compassion. Jesus Christ is the most compassionate person throughout his life. He demonst demonstrated how compassionate he is after his resurrection, death on the cross, and burial and resurrection, he stands at the throne of grace interceding for us. He has so much compassion on us. He wants to do a lot of kind things, good things for us. Throughout this day, let us praise God for the kindness he has shown us. And then let us ask God to bless us that we may demonstrate kindness for the people around us. Throughout this day, let us look for opportunity to do good things, kind things for the people around us. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, 
we thank you for giving us amazing love. Love with all the eight qualities described in Galatians. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us to receive your love. Teach us to produce fruit of your love. Teach us to produce various qualities of love, especially kindness. Lord, we have received so much kindness from you. Continue to bless us to receive kindness and give kindness to everyone around us throughout this day. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen.